Our beloved 8% Hard AF Seltzer is now live in over 1,200 locations across the United States. We're now available in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Ohio, and Texas. Go to hardafseltzer.com today, click on the store locator, enter your city or zip, and find the nearest location closest to you. Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah, welcome to Drinking Bros, kids. Oh, these Friday afternoon shows. What do you got there? This is, is that the, the final one? one. This is the Bro Box version. Fuck yeah, so dude. You, you still have a couple of days to sign up for it, but this is the. It's that IRS's gay shirt that I was wearing at the range the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this. <sighs> The second, I want that. Throw this is the second sure. iteration of yeah. these. The first ones had the label on the back, and it was the spacing was wrong. These ones look nice. Well, we always test them out before they go out to yeah, people yeah. here. <clears throat> Great job with this. Yeah. So it's a it, a twelve ounce can fits right down inside there. Also, it comes with this lid, so you can use it just. To, you could pour your shit into it. God make, damn, mixed dude! It's like shit. a tumbler. Speaking of mixed drinks, <clears throat> our friend Emma's gonna. Make some mixed drinks for us. She's got like recipes for all the flavors already. Really? So that'll be out soon. All right. Looking forward to yeah. that, kids. We're uh, we're raging. Next week we'll be uh, live in Georgia, Atlanta. Not sure what the weather's going to be like down there. Yeah, unclear we'll on that. Out. Unclear. We're gonna we're gonna film on location at our buddy's bar uh, in Buckhead, the Ivy. That'll be a blast. That'll be fun. It's not open. Otherwise, we would do a meetup. There. Yeah, we, we would invite everybody. It's a private yeah. uh, thing because they're not open to Gen Pop yeah. there. But we might do a meetup on, uh, if we don't end up going down to Augusta on Thursday, we could do a meetup there at the Ivy on Thursday. Potentially, right? yeah, absolutely. Because there's a baseball game in the morning and then uh, after. They, they open at 4, so it would be a night thing. And they would go down to Augusta on Friday probably, but we'll see. Delco, are, are, are you pissed? If it rains... Do you go out there in the rain? Or are you one of those guys who's like, just put the slicker on me and I'll go out there? He yeah, said why fire. Why would I not go to fucking Augusta, Georgia? Why would I not go to the Masters? So here's the deal. It's so beautiful. You want to see it in its natural shit there. I don't know if you want to have it muddy and stomping around. I'm okay with that. Okay. As long as you're okay with it, it's fine. Uh, D'Anthony and I will probably be uh, chilling back. But if, if, that's, if that's your wishes, we'll do it. Delco, for sure. There's just no reprieve there. It's it's all outdoors. It's it's probably the last. I guess I would describe it like uh, Fenway Park or something like that. It's yeah. probably the last old timey environment that is uh, amazingly preserved. Churchill but Downs. they don't have uh, they don't have sweets and anything like that. I Churchill don't... Downs has got the sweets, brother. I don't want sweets. I'll get a poncho. Oh, you get a poncho. Okay, you're you're a poncho guy. I like it. All right. I don't I think did... they have trash bags at in. Augusta, they you know? <laughs> I don't think they would let you in with one. I know once you get in, so there's a there's a nice little shop there on the right hand side, like a pro shop. They definitely do have ponchos, so I think you'll be fine there. But once you're out in it, you're out in it, and that's kind of it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. As of now, forecast is supposed to clear up at noon on Friday. What if over you just there. what if you just spray your whole body in Scotch Guard? <laughs> Because you're going to get the added benefit, Delco, and I think this is probably something being from Delco you've done in your life. You get to inhale the chemical and get high off of it. Oh, right? shit, dude. You're Which is a two for yeah. That's a two for one. So basically, you just wear a green, if you're from Delco, you wear a green man suit. Yep. And then you spray it in Scotch Guard and you just wander around <laughs> until your brain stops functioning. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. Can you confirm that? Would they let you into the Masters? In a green man suit? No. I don't do think they? so, right? No. They wouldn't even let black people in until like four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not saying they were right, by the way. I'm just saying that's what happened. Sure, went that's that's just what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So we'll see. Because yeah. uh, they they have strict rules. If you step over something, they'll throw you out. Like, oh, did they release there's signs up everywhere? Did too, they of, of how they'll throw you out? Of yeah. Places. Did they release the the words for this? Tournament yet? Oh, that's a great one. Have they? Delco, do we know that? Can you find Bob? Can you look for that? 
Usually it's like twenty something words or so that you can't yeah say. that you can't say either. But I gotta so you I can't yell live. out any yes. golf words. Correct. Get in um, the hole. Yeah. 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 That like any pretty much no quote from Happy Gilmore. Right? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I got a, I got the list before I went in. I took my father there for his sixty uh, fifth birthday, and I got that list, and I was like, "Is this real?" And they were like, "Oh, it's it's real." So I did see two people get removed. So this is a twenty eighteen <laughs> list. I'm not seeing a present list yet that's when i that's that's the one i was at maybe that's the standing I was at 2018 list. yeah so here's the full list from 2018 now they may have added to it and okay. they may have taken some off because some of these are top can you put it up on the screen or are you looking on your phone it's on my i'll share it on the no, uh, it's fine yeah it's fine go ahead and read it off Bob. okay it. i prefer your voice okay uh dilly 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 that, that i don't think needs to be on the list anymore right. do people I, say it anymore no I it was aaron Rodgers doing that bullshit that was a right Bud Light campaign. Yeah. yeah you're right so that got canceled <laughs> that won't be a thing anymore uh baba Booey. stern how yeah stern. that that's been that's banned from it's most timeless. lists since the mid 80s I yeah think, so that's not gonna change yeah, yeah that's that's 30 years stay. old <laughs> this one might be my least favorite like this one pisses me off the most mashed potatoes Mashed potatoes. Who says that? Um, Delco, you're the golf guy. What's the what's the Jimmy significance Buffett? of mashed potatoes? I think that was another Howard Stern thing. Okay, gotcha. Uh, you demand. Well, can't yell. You demand. What, who, That's what's classic. The, what's that? Who? What's that about? You demand. You everybody it. says it all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I understand that one. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a generic one. Go ahead. Next up, I am Googling this because uh, I don't know. Maybe Dan. Uh, What's it? Can tell what is it? it? It is I Love Martha Burke. I Love Martha Burke. Who's Martha Burke? Like I, from the Burke uh, Bicycle Company, maybe? No, that's Mary Burke. Um, I don't know. I don't know who Martha Burke is. Yeah, I don't know. Was she on She's the an Masters American Committee? American political psychologist, feminist, and former chair of the National Council of Women's Organizations. Maybe mm. she. Oh. She was fighting Augusta. To get women to play there. I think so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. And by the way, there is not a lot of women there. There's a couple of dudes who took their wives. <laughs> Wasn't Condi the first it. one? Condi was the first yeah. member. But I mean, that's like saying there's not a lot of dudes at Lilith Fair. It's the fucking master. I went to like, Lilith Fair, Bob. <laughs> did you? Sure did. You know why? Great wow. place to meet chicks. <laughs> that, that is not a great place to meet women. It sure was. No. It's a great place to smell iron in the air. Oh, boy. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a fun, interesting time. God, it was, it was uh, a group called the Indigo Girls. Oh, yeah. Closer to Fine was there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Closer to Fine. We went, we went in college. Yeah, we went to we popped by a, a little affair. That's like going to an abortion clinic trying to get laid. Yeah, we did some weird shit. We went mm. to uh, what else did we go to that summer? It was uh, we showed up for what we thought was going to be the Who, and it was the orchestra version of just an orchestra playing Who song. So imagine yeah, because- showing up on acid when you think you're seeing the Who, and it's the Who played by an orchestra. Well, didn't the guitar player get popped for being a pet- pedophile? Something. Which Peter. One? Peter. Something. Who? Oh, uh, the. Who's oh, from Peter who? Townsend. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he a pedophile, or was he just like David Bowieing it, where he's banging thirteen-year-old girls for a decade? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, it was probably it was boys. More, more or less that. What's the difference? There's yeah. not really no. one. No. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we. I'll say this: it wasn't as if the Who canceled. We completely just misread it all the way around. So we walked right the fuck out of there. Shortest I've ever been inside of a. An amphitheater. I think we were there for 15, 20 minutes and then bounced after that. Uh, what are the rest of those phrases, Bob? Uh, this one I actually Googled while you were talking because I wanted to know the uh, source of it. And okay. there is no exp- – no one knows what this means. Annika Sorenstam loves trapeze. Huh. I mean, she was hot, so maybe, like, jumping up and down. Not sure. I don't know. She was great back in the day. Here, here's what I do know. Um, you're not – words you're not going to find. Mm. On the words you can't say at the Masters. <laughs> you chippy the man. Well, I was going to say the N word. Oh, well, that's too. Because they definitely use that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they probably don't talk about chippy at all. So we allowed to scream out, give chippy the bit. If it's, we wait till the yes. end of the day and then, hey. You're it's not on the list. Like if you're going to, here's the thing. There's something called a, a, 
allow list or a deny list, right? Uh -huh. An allow list is whitelisting. It means everything's off limits except for what we say. And then a deny list is you can say anything but what we say not to. And if you don't tell me I can't say the N word, I'm going <laughs> to fucking say it, bro. That's just the way it is. This is America, goddammit. I think you will hear give Chippy the bit come out of my <laughs> mouth. Um, uh, I think this one might come out of your mouth. What do we got? It was topical. I think it went away, but now I think it's topical again. All right. Free meek. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's definitely topical, and no, we can't play that audio on YouTube today, okay? <laughs> can't play the audio today. That's wild. So, yeah, that was 2018. Yeah. Yeah, Meek Mill was in prison, and they were working to get him out. I think when he got out, it was the president of the 76ers who went and picked him up in a private jet, actually. And then he sat courtside. Yeah, the owner of Fanatics. Was Wait, that who it is? Michael yeah. Rubin. Didn't yep. uh, Trump have something to do with that? Uh, getting Meek Mill out. I think he no, got. No, that was ASAP Rocky. Yeah, he got ASAP oh, okay. Rocky out, Kodak yeah. Black, Lil Wayne. Um, he pardoned like 10 or 15 rappers on the way out, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty hilarious. Yeah. He was supposed to speak at the White House on prison reform, but uh, backed out. Really? Who? Yeah. Uh, Meek Mill? Meek yeah. Mill, yeah. He's probably nursing an injury. <laughs> Uh, to his asshole. A b-hole injury. This one, if you hear someone yell it, immediately beat them to death. Mm -hmm. uh, to infinity and beyond. Oh, God. If, what I, if, if somebody screened out a Buzz Lightyear quote wait, when I was there. But yeah, what, what if that. it's Tim Allen saying it? Well, What if he shows up and says it? He's got to pass. Yeah. Right? Like, who's going to, you're not going to arrest him again. No. No. Right? This isn't trafficking fucking. Because he couldn't snitch on anyone. Yeah. I mean. So he's not going to do it. I guess on the writers. <laughs> Uh, this one is actually a common golf shout, and uh, Dan, I want to get your take on this. Uh, activate the glutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. I like that a lot, that's, actually. Uh, that's from a Tiger Woods quote. He yeah. was talking about how he was just too stiff during the day, and he had to activate his glutes. All right. I'm a big fan of that. Activate the glutes! Because that goes for everything, not just golf. I mean, that's sex. Oh, yeah. That's... I mean, t I, I think give Chip, Chippy the bit yeah. applies to a lot of different things in everyday life. Give Chippy the bit. By uh, the way, we're in the middle of uh, designing Chippy right now. We'll get into that. We later. sure will. We're not ready for it. I mean, we're, we're, it's going to be on this show. It's going to be on the show. We're going to design we're, it. We're just yeah, not ready. Air here today. And I'll tell you, uh, it, you're going to enjoy it, so stay tuned. But let's get <laughs> back to the Masters. Um, so this one offends yeah. me. Uh-huh. Because I think it's derog it's factual, but I think it's being said derogatorily. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Carter eats peanuts. Well, so Carter's a, a, an, an, an Atlanta guy. He's a Georgia guy. So that makes sense there. He's beloved. He's the only president from the state of Georgia, so everybody hangs their hat on that. Um, that, that one makes sense. And he's still alive, right? Yeah. Are we still? He's still going. Jesus Christ. He man. recently, I think, just passed a couple, a week or two ago, the one year anniversary of entering hospice care. Hey, that was a month ago now. And his, his nephew or whatever was like, oh, yeah, we thought he had weeks. Nuts, dude. It's April fucking 8th by the time this airs. Yeah. What if he dies right before he this won't. airs? Holy he won't. shit. No, he, he won't. won't. I'd like to see him at the Masters, to be honest with you. Like to Shit, he's going to be playing on, on days uh, three and four, bud. He's in. He <laughs> he's makes making the cut, the cut yeah. dude. Jimmy Carter's making the cut. Give Jimmy the bit. <laughs> He'll go out there and plow that field. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we got, Bob? This is another one where if someone says this, you immediately beat them unconscious and then hand them over to security. Okay. It's, hey, security, can you pick me out of this sea of people? Mm, there's not a sea of people there at the Masters, though. It's very uh, confined. Why would they someone don't let, have, they, don't let pe they don't let a lot of people into the Masters. Why would someone have said that ever in the first place, but also enough that they had to ban the phrase? I think, and this is a guess here, <laughs> that probably started at Waste Management because there was, you know, 100,000 people. And uh, I believe Homeboy said it and then ran through the crowd, and then they had to beef up security on that because we went to that event a couple years later. I think that one makes sense. Uh, what else, Bob? Uh, this one is I uh, borderline topical, but I'm going to go evergreen. R.I.P. Harambe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that still holds to this day. Yeah. Uh, next up, I don't know what this means. Nobody beats the Wiz. Oh, nobody beats the Wiz. That was a, an old uh, commercial, like a 
a shitty commercial in uh, New York. Nobody beats the Wiz. Nobody beats the Wiz. And it was a, like a Radio Shack. It's a it's a um, Circuit City type vibe. It's a electronic store. It in, was in the tri-state area. Yeah, R.I.P. I think they they just killed it off. Yeah, and no, no, no. Two thousand three. Oh shit! They went out of business in two thousand three. I guess nine eleven really hit them hard. It sure did. Uh, I don't know what this one means. Uh, Brandel's my daddy. I don't know that one. Uh, bikini wax. <laughs> bikini wax. Eh, doesn't really flow that that good. This next one does, and I could see Ross shouting it. Okay. Drive it, Miss Daisy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah, I like that. Drive it, Miss Daisy. I like I, it. I know when I need to make water. <laughs> it's my favorite quote from that movie. <laughs> You don't have to tell me every time you need to take a piss. You can just go and do it. I've never made water on my own without asking somebody for over 25 years. Um, what was the other one from that fucking thing, dude? God damn it. Oh, I got here's what we got thrown out of. Um, this is an interesting one. So we screamed out Ernie, boom, bye, yay, to Ernie L's at a golf tournament, and we followed him around the whole time when he was big and uh, because Ali had come out at that time. But with, why, with would that, Smith. why would that – why would that – not be okay because that would be the equivalent of an Irish guy and saying ole 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 or something, right? Excellent question. Like that's that's <laughs> almost identical. So his security came over and said, "That means Ernie kill him in South Africa." Yes, yeah. yeah. But it's not. I mean, yeah, it can be used <laughs> in a in a violent way, but it's also like, yeah, just like we we say, go to war and destroy the enemy and shit. When we're yeah. talking about sports, don't be so fucking sensitive. I agree. Man. I was at the memorial in Columbus, Ohio. What year was that? Whenever he was good, I'd so, say early 2000s. Still, like, people were still sensitive about the apartheid then, probably. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he didn't, seriously, maybe he didn't want to fucking have, like, no, hey, no. I, I'm not trying to kill people. <laughs> and he looked <laughs> over. We locked eyes. Mm -hmm. I locked eyes with Ernie Els, and he was fucking pissed. So, and his people came over right afterwards. Well, yeah. fuck him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the last couple, kind of whatever, uh, insert band name should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Can you hear me now? Good. Oh, can you hear me now is that uh, cell phone commercial. Yeah. Nah. And then ha if, you, if you yell anything, like hashtag whatever, if you start it with hashtag. All right. Gay. Kicked out. Yeah, I'm not doing that bullshit. Yeah. What if your friend's name is hashtag and you yell hashtag needs a medic? Well, <laughs> then you've got to provide ID. Uh, that you, says, hey, is, is, is this hashtag? This is my buddy hashtag. I think you're gone either way. You just got to fall on your sword at that point, you know? Probably. Yeah. Now, All the right. last part of this that I want to ask you, because you don't know this, and we got to determine this for Delco and who he is as a person, where he's from. This is a big deal here. When you get these master's badges, and it is the uh, old school. Oh, I thought you were going to ask badge. about like cut off jeans or something. Close. Okay. Close. When you get these badges, um, they give them to you. They're hard badges. You got to put them on, and then you got to turn them in afterwards. When you sign for them, it is an $80,000 essentially deposit here that if you don't bring back the badge, you will owe them $80,000. So these are passed down from families. Like, this is all, this is all Georgia South yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. And uh, these are passed down from family members and, and all that other shit for years and years and years. If you lose the badge, you don't get to go to the Masters every year. So it's a big deal. So when oh, you no. sign it out, you gotta, it's 80 grand for the badge. Can we trust Delco that he'll be able to keep it on his person all day long? Uh, yeah. You think so? He's not Giorgio. I don't lose things. Okay. Giorgio would fucking That's true. be cutting up lines of cocaine with that thing. <laughs> to be honest, I might do that too, but I'll maintain possession of it as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice to do a bump off the magic. Oh, yeah. The Masters I might. Well, I might. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> by the way, we got some breaking news. Our friend Ryan Spader, the baseball analyst, um, he's announced his decision to enter the uh, 2024 NBA draft as well. No way. Yeah. Just like Bronny James. Good for him. Also, breaking news <laughs> where we're from just got hit by an earthquake. Yes. Yeah, the tri-state. It tri -state was a 4.8-er. 4.8 shakes New York City, buildings from Philly to Boston. Uh, ground stop at all airports right now, which is a blast on a Friday in the tri-state area Hoping with Boston, JFK, LaGuardia, New York, uh, and Newark yeah. all going down. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. my friend is uh, – well, I don't, I, I don't know if she landed or not. I assume she did. She left at 7 a.m., but, yeah, she was flying to New York this morning. That must suck. Oof. Probably stuck at the goddamn airport. Well, though, the, the – yeah, nah – it just happened now, so it should be all right. No, that happened like two and a half hours ago. Oh, the air, the earthquake yeah. did? No shit. 
Uh, how bad was it? Anything go down in New York City? I haven't heard anything about uh, uh, BDA battle damage assess- assessment or anything like that, but um, so I, I assume it's not even trending. No, it's just weird because we don't get hit by earthquakes ever. Ever. Um, it is strange. Yeah, very, but, very strange. I mean, there's no, there's not even any warnings in place in New York. Well, there's, we've never successfully predicted an earthquake in the history of human beings. I don't think. No, that. but uh, in in <clears throat> California and stuff, there's drills for kids and everything else. Like uh, they'll walk you through it. They don't have that in New York at all. Uh, maybe it's not part of the curriculum. This is just speculation, but maybe God's had enough. Maybe. Uh, all hopefully, that, all that gay shit going on up there, or with the the judge and the Trump trials, and yeah. he's just like, "Hey, man, keep fucking around, dude. Keep I, fucking around." I, I've got to check in with the Falwells again um, <laughs> and see if they like. Hey, was this was this God, and was it because of gay? Just let me know. So you can send me a fax later on. Uh, I'm the. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Do, I'll doing all my communication through fax. You should. That's what we should tell text dot. Yeah. It's like, hey, from now on, we want to keep a record of our communication. And, you know, you, obviously you guys don't want to be recorded. So we're just going to have you send us a fax every time. Yeah, we'll give you a heads up here. Because digital happened. records can be altered. For sure. But if you send a fax, that's, a, that's just how it comes out of the machine, man. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so uh, quick update on Lizette. Still unfound. Um, we were supposed to have a meeting with TechStot and the engineers at the office today. And they didn't show up. Yeah. Uh, found out on the phone call is that uh, they whoopsie. were worried that we would record them. And I said, no, we have a seating area outside of the set. But whatever we talk about in the meeting will be reported on the podcast. And uh, she told me, Linda Reif told me, that uh, it was unnecessary to have Lizette mm. at, this, at this stage. Everybody else got to talk to Lizette but us. Uh, but we still don't know where she is. So keep your emojis and prayers going in the meantime. And then we'll fill you in as everything shakes out yeah. here. And if you're staying prayed up, uh, probably keep Chippy in mind, too. Yeah, keep Chippy in mind, dude. Uh, please do. If you haven't heard last week's uh, Give Chippy the Bit episode, listen to it from start to finish. It really went off the rails yeah. here. But we are trying to make a Chippy the Give Chippy the Bit yeah. t-shirt, which we're going to do live on air today. What what program are well, you using, Well, hold on. Bob? This is Dolly, but I, there's one other thing I want to do before... We move into Chippy. Mm-hmm. Um, Bob, can you go to Twitter and pull up Ricky Gervais' account? He made, he's got this new vodka company. Ricky Gervais does? Yeah. Okay. And he's made an ad for it, and they wouldn't let him use it as an ad because it's too fucked up. So he just posted it on his Twitter. Is that real? Yeah, it's really funny. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. I just wanted to play it because it's only going to get shared by word of mouth. We don't work with these guys or anything, but it's, no. he's the best. He is the best. I love After he eviscerated videos. everybody a couple years ago, he's just like the best dude that exists in Hollywood, in my <laughs> opinion. So and He's he, not even in Hollywood. That's no, he, he lives in uh, fucking somewhere in I England. Think, uh, Southampton, maybe, yeah. I think is where he's from. Anyways, um, yeah, play the ad. So this is for Dutch Barn Orchard Vodka. <laughs> Dutch Barn? <laughs> Dutch Barn. No free ads. No, I, well, no, no, this is a free ad. Ricky. This actually is a free ad. We love Ricky yeah. Gervais, uh, but we don't. And we have nothing to do with this company and don't know it. No. I've never seen it. Go and I, w- I would play this even if we had a vodka company, by the way, because it's fucking funny. Go ahead and play it. Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, co-owner of Dutch Barn Vodka, and with me today, Dr. Patterson. Now, this is an advert, so you're not a real doctor. No, I'm, a, I'm an actor. Now, you like a drink, don't you? Absolutely. What do you drink? Beer. I think vodka is probably better than beer in terms of calories per unit of alcohol. So, although I doubt it'll make a dent in you, you're fat because you eat too much, aren't you? (laughs) No exercise. (laughs) You won't be laughing. You have to have your feet removed from diabetes. (laughs) Uh, Probably not, no. No, fat cunt. (laughs) (laughs) He broke the (laughs) actor. So, you know, if you're into vodka, maybe check it out. I've never oh, tried it, boy. but I'm going to go to, uh, I, when we're done recording today, I'm going to go to Specs and see if they have any. I'm going to try it. Okay. See if it's any good or not, and I'll report back. Yeah, the, the only thing that's strange to me is they put it in a dark bottle. You usually don't see vodka in dark bottles like that because you don't know what it is, you yeah. know, well. at a bar. But he's Ricky Gervais, <clears throat> and it doesn't matter. He's richer no. than Jesus, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, Bob, let's crack open. Let's get weird today. Let's crack open that fucking app. And do this Chippy the Bit shirt here. What is this for people at home? 
Uh, it's just Dolly. Well, I'm using Microsoft Copilot, which uses Dolly, and it essentially like you put, give it a prompt, and it will uh, create things for you uh, based on that prompt. Uh, so I said like I actually have a couple already that I was doing before the show uh, that I'll show first, and I was like, give me, uh, can you make a horse? with a goofy face pulling a plow in a field that looks like a cartoon. Okay. Do they do certain words? They, uh, you can't say retarded or dumb. Okay, that's, or that's like that. where I was going with this. Yeah. So here's number one. I, l- I like that. I mean, that's a fucking great animation right there. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How yeah. fast did it... How fast did it, that pump that out? 30 seconds. Yeah. I was going to say, there was a guy in the studio who pulled up an app. It wasn't this one. It was another one. Um, but he was screaming in things, and it was pumping out in like 20 seconds. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I mean, that's amazing. Typically, to farm this out to do this type of animation would take. The, something like this bucks. would cost you 1200 bucks. <clears throat> yeah. Jesus, man. That's amazing. Yeah. 30 seconds. 30 just, seconds. Just ask it. And I said cartoon specifically. And so, uh, another question on top of that is there no trademark on that? No. No. Wow. Yeah. Wow, dude. That's wild. So, okay. this was just Goofy Horse. Goofy horse. And then you said, you started out with one that was less goofy than this and just kept saying goofier, right? Basically, I kept upping the ante and like asking for maybe like missing teeth. It actually never never gave me missing teeth, but it did just keep pumping out different stuff that was getting aggressively more goofy. Wow. I like that a lot. Can you, are you, so you're not allowed to put in Down syndrome? No, it will not do it. This one won't. Uh, what about mental retardation? You can't do, do that. Ed, nothing like that. You have to get, and honestly, with, with something like this, you just get creative. Yeah, you, get, you say Yeah, yeah, I, and, and that's why I'm trying to, to find a workaround here. Well, so. I guess the workaround would be to dis, like specifically describe the physical characteristics of somebody with Down syndrome. Yeah. Pretty much, yes. Would you say high forehead? Sloping forehead. Sloping forehead. Yeah. Type in sloping forehead. <clears throat> and a wide jaw. Well, I, well, look, man, this is science. Eyes closer together? Yeah, I did that for one of them. Oh, it did? Okay. I wonder if you could say, if you could tell it to make a horse that looked like a famous retarded person and not use the word retarded, but like yeah, well, Corky, that work? From, Corky from Life Goes On as a yeah. horse. Okay, so. Yeah, it's working now. It's trying to create it. Yeah, continue. What the hell? Wow, okay. dude. I started this on my other computer, and then, okay. That's fine. Holy <laughs> shit, that's fast. All right, pop those up. Let's see this. Oh, boy. So this, I actually forgot to say cartoon, so this is giving you a... Oh, my God. Oh, that's course. fucking haunting. That's nightmare fuel right there. <laughs> and what's up with the fucking farmer in the background? He's wow. Melting, yeah. Wow, dude. Okay. What is the other ones? Because it looks like there's three or four of them. Yeah. Yeah, it'll give you four options. It will? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. And then there's this one. This is just like a photo almost. So, yeah, that's pretty realistic. What's, uh, what's, the, what's the guy's name? What's Corky's name from Life? I think it's on? Brian something. Hold on. Yeah, because will it do famous people? Like Tom Cruise oh, and shit like that? Chris Burke. Burke with an E. So yes. type in Chris Burke actor. Yeah, a horse that looks like actor Chris Burke. There's not enough images of Chris Burke. Are you out of uh, your you, mind? He was on he television was, for fucking 10 years, He's a fucking man. Emmy winner. I'm just telling you how the AI works. He's an Emmy winner, dude. It's not going to nail it. It's just not. I mean, if it even gets it into the ballpark. Yeah, just type in Chris Burke oh, nope. actor. It knew. It fucking knew. What does it say? <laughs> it says, oops, try another prompt. There's some words that may be automatically blocked at this time. Whoa, dude. We just said Chris Burke actor. Yep. Okay. What about that uh, Brazilian? Man, we got to get clever with this, then, man. Brazilian retard with nice tits. Is that what I should be searching for? Yeah, Pro- yeah, well, on your end. I've got on a couple end. other. Here's a couple other cartoon <laughs> options that I got real quick. I was a fan of this one. That's not bad. It's not. It's not as good as the other ones, but it's not bad. And then let's see here. Now that one. Holy is... shit. That's frightening. Look at that thing. Good God. Yeah, give Chippy the bit right there. Holy cow, dude. And then the last one that I generated was kind of... This is more like cocaine. Yeah, it feels like cocaine right there. Um, not so much a Down Syndrome type of vibe. Uh, Hold on. What's this girl's name? 
Uh, what about like Sydney Sweeney? There's nothing wrong with her, and I'm sure everybody types her in. Sophia J I R A U is that Brazilian girl's name with the fake titties? Okay. Uh, yep. Pop it in. Sophia what? Uh, J Juliet India Romeo Alpha uniform. Okay. It's it's gonna be the same though. Yeah. I'm guessing. Which is that means AI is keeping a list of all the retards. Yes. Yeah. A, Do you think that's safe? Did it, it say no? It's Not a, yet. It's a bit of a registry. I'm trying to trace that. Uh oh. Uh, hmm. oh. 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 This thing's gonna have big fake titties on let's it. Put that up on the screen, goddammit. Yeah, let's let's see it live here as it is as, as the wheel spins around. It's not gonna work well. Come on, dude. It doesn't nail people well. Like, we'll see. But this is a people. Ah, uh, it's uh, just a my little oh. pony. Get the fuck what out of here. What is that, dude? Was horse in the prompt? Yeah. It was. All right. Well, what about just her name on its own? What does that pop up with? Hold on. I'm asking him to make it goofier. That's how you got to do it. That's the workaround. Goofy. But her name is actually in it? Yep. With the word goofy? Why'd you make her a horse? Yeah. Is there any way to, um, like, say, give her a 65 IQ? <laughs> 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 a picture of Shane Gillis just pops up. Yeah, that would be really funny. I love that guy, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could maybe do. Uh oh, that. well, see, now it just looks like the other one. I think we're just gonna have to go with this. Well, yeah. I, I tell you what, pop in her name on its own, Bob. I just want to see if it would actually give us the person. Uh, how oh, is it going to sign in? Because like, if if not. What what about like Sophia whatever on a skateboard or something? Just put her in a scene and see if it actually puts her in, as a cartoon. Okay. And see how it draws her. Yeah, because I'm sure everybody's doing this with Sydney Sweeney or something like that, right? That would be the guess. Putting um, celebrities in like weird pictures, yeah. Yeah. Um, but not like creepy shit or porn or anything like that. Just like. Well, that's next. Just show me a picture of Sydney Sweeney and four other people hanging out at a bar. Something like that would be a normal prompt. Right. I think it would do that one without. Okay. So we got it's potentially generating. Because they did it with that podcast host, that uh, Bobby Altoff chick, where she was masturbating the other day uh, and dropped that video, and that was all AI. It looks pretty realistic. I mean, you're getting there, you know? So it's only a matter of oh, time. Yeah. Before, we're, we're a year before, out oh, yeah. from straight up shit you can't recognize. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be able to see Marilyn Monroe porn. That's she's blonde for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, I don't think it knows anything about Sophia. Did it gr Gira. did it grok well, her? Pop, pop up what grok. it's uh, pop up what it what it showed us. Was it Microsoft the one? And why is it all fucking gay yeah, shit? That's not her, dude. That's uh, not her. So that's in no way. Her. Is it Microsoft the one that wouldn't make pictures of of uh, white Google. people? That's Google. Oh, Google. Okay. I think this is just sort of racistly being like, this is what all Brazilians look like. Wow. Okay. Wow. What are you saying, Delco? <laughs> Put in Sydney Sweeney and what they. Yeah, let's pop up Sydney out. Sweeney and see where they, they pop up. Because then we'll know, right? If it's not her, then th then they're not doing real people on this thing. Okay, let's see if I can get Sydney Sweeney skateboarding. Skateboarding? I just it's innocuous. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? It's Why not? not. What? Yeah, bro, blocked you. That just means that Sydney Sweeney, her very existence is pornographic. Okay, so last one here. Let's go Tom Cruise. He's, you know, been the biggest movie star for 40 years at this point. If it won't give you Tom Cruise, it might not just give you any famous people at all. Oh, true. Then that'll answer your question. Yeah, because they don't want to deal with fucking trademark shit. Probably. <clears throat> but, I mean, I wonder what an artist's rendering is, you know? It's like if you go to uh, a state fair and go to one of those, you know, cartoon people and yeah. ask you to draw them a big Tom Cruise no, head, they'll well, do it. All celebs blocked. All celebrities blocked. Okay. So we, we found out a couple of things here. Uh, the guy from Life Goes On is famous, Delco, and they wouldn't allow it because he's so fucking famous. That's yeah. right. And, uh, and Sydney Sweeney. Can you upload pictures into this? Could yeah, you could you could you put a link know. to a picture of a tard and say, "Hey, make a horse that looks like this person"? Uh, you can do that mid journey. What's mid journey? That's it's the use. better one. It's oh, the, it is. It's the pro version of this. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I we did the O.J. Simpson one on yours, I yeah. think, right? Who's got mid journey? I so what the fuck are we waiting for? <laughs> it's through Discord, though. It's like a whole thing. 
Oh, that's right. Because I was going to get it, and then they were like, oh, hey, you got to download 19 apps to get there. And I was like, bruh, I don't feel like doing that. Because that O.J. Simpson one you pumped out for me was fucking awesome. It was last year on Cinco de Mayo. Let's see. What do you want me to do or have Sidney Sweeney do? Well, uh, dunking over LeBron James. Yeah, okay, that'd see. be great. I'll try. Yeah. If that, we that's, get Sidney Sweeney dunking over LeBron James. From the free throw line, line yeah. dude. I mean, just like fucking really. That'd be get, a fun one. Yeah. I watched that college uh, dunk contest last night. It was terrible. I, everybody's just out of ideas. They can't do yeah. I think it's all been done it's now over. at this point. It's it over. is. It's all over. I think they should put IEDs on the court. Now, that would be fun. Or, like, spring-loaded. Have some of the, um, uh, the flooring be spring-loaded. And if you step on the wrong spot on the floor, or this is a dude with a fucking map mm-hmm. of buttons, and he just pushes, pushes one, and it launches your ass up into the air. Boom, you're gone, dude. I, yeah. I think you need to stop doing it for style and start making it like... Uh, I mean, this is going to mostly advantage the tall people, but you got to start doing, like, who can dunk from the furthest away, who can dunk on the highest rim, like that... That's the only way I would be interested at this point. Yeah. Uh, Three-point shootout on both men's and women's was still entertaining, but uh, the dunk contest is just dead across the board. We've done it all. We've seen it all. There's nowhere to go anymore, and there's nothing you can do about how high your body can go. So, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I get it, man. We're all, we're all fucking tapped on that. Uh, what do you got there, Delco? It's not good. It's not good? Uh-huh. Is it her, at least? It's not her. Is it just a blonde with huge tits, essentially. Yeah. Is, it, is it even that? I, I told it to do it again. Let me. I'll send. I'll put up the photo. I'll send it to Rob. How long until somebody jailbreaks this thing and makes one where we can do the craziest shit ever with celebrities? Um, I, I whenever Grok has uh, a plug-in for for images, I would imagine. Uh, forgive me. I don't know Grok that well. Grok is Twitter's version. Okay, and, and what do you do there? Same thing? Do you just type it in and it spits out an image? I don't actually know. I don't have it. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I would. I'd, it's, um, it's, a, it's prompt-based AI, so, yeah, sure. Okay, gotcha. Um, because that could be fun. Oh, shit. All right. Pop that up. I mean, that's a blonde. It's not terrible. Yeah, and look, that's about as close to dunking as anybody's going to get if they don't have a penis. What's, what does it say on her jersey there? Nothing. Satan Tari? Yeah. That just makes up shit. It's a lot of Russian stuff, too. It's Why? Lore, it's lore mipsum, basically. Mm. All right, pop that up one more time and zoom in. It kind of looks like Jessica Biel a little bit. I'm getting a Bielster vibe there. No, that just you looks like the, a Russian The lines chick. on the basketball are kind of screwy. Yeah. I told you, it's not good with celebrities. No, it's not. I mean, it's not good. None of this is good. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it at all, now that we've zoomed in on it. All right, technology isn't there yet. I'll try it again. Technology just isn't there yet, and that's fine. Like, we're okay with that, but you need to admit it at home that technology is not there, and we can't have all the fun things. Uh, although those porn, whoever's pumping out those porns, I don't know what country that is, but uh, those are getting there. I told you I watched the one with Lily, right? There's some creators. Cre- yeah, there's some. Somebody um, sent me an article about it the other day. There's some creators on uh, Pornhub and some of the other big sites that are AI models. Like, you don't ever see their real face. Oh, yeah, I, I so believe it. They film the whole... I don't know if they're wearing, like, a green mask or some shit like that or how they're doing it, but they wear... they. Um, f- the, it's like a full porn with everything in it, and then somebody just goes in and fixes the faces. So what I, don't, I don't know how much effort that takes either, by the way. So I, I think what they're doing is shooting it with real people and then swapping out the heads. Because the one that I watched with Lily from at and Yeah, that's what it is. She, like, her <laughs> head was replacing somebody else's body, but the body looked how you thought it would. Mm. Well, these people, so, these people are just obfuscating their own identity. So it's people yeah. who make their own porn, and they're just changing their faces. Right, so you don't know what their face looks like. Which yeah, is, that, that's interesting. But I tell you what, Bob, go to uh, X Videos. I think Pornhub is blocked here, right? Yeah. In Texas now. Um, go to xvideos.com and then type in Lily AT and T porn and see what we come up with. Uh, well, hold on. There's a guy hands free coming into some snow. Do you want? Oh yeah, look at that. You don't see that every day. Oh, and a guy getting lucky Pierre between uh, a. Uh, strap on and a sex doll. What's a Lucky Pierre? Forgive me. You don't know what a Lucky Pierre is? No. No, I've never heard of that. This is a Lucky Pierre. 
Sorry, no free. That's ads. when you give uh, and get. You're at the in the same middle. Time. Really? Yeah. Bob, that doesn't, what, that doesn't seem like you're that lucky. Is I like don't that. I don't know much about. Uh, she's got a nice butt. I don't know much about X videos, but d- does it normally mix a bunch of weird gay shit in on the front page? Apparently, I, I'm a Pornhub well, guy. But that's yeah. so that's Bob's feed. He's so. getting eased into. Okay, so the woman is putting inserting him inside the doll. Yes, and then she's got a. Sh- is that a strap on on her? Yes, she's inserting and in, uh, probably already inserted into him. God, and he's. God. This yep. is a lucky. This is actually not that lucky of a Pierre. No, like Pierre is not lucky at all during this. Situation. Well, I mean, normally Pierre is doing great, but this is a, a sex doll and a strap on. Yeah, it's not great. None of this is great. You know, there needs to be a butcher shop, just all meat. <laughs> well, then it's just gay at that point, right? Well, the one he's giving it to doesn't necessarily have to be a man. Yeah, like, true. he could be fucking a woman and then having a dude fucking him. Yeah, but then that's not fun. I don't think... I, I it, Close the blinds. It's definitely not fun, uh, or it wouldn't be for me. My concern is that it's not 100% gay, right? Yeah. Like, it's gay. Does no. the one act offset the other act? Well, does, does having your P and a V you're n- like offset the fact that you've got a P and your A? You're not fully committed to either. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but boy. as you said before, there's nothing a woman can do to you that's gay. That's right. This isn't gay. This isn't this gay, isn't right? Gay. Yeah, you're right. No, and that, yeah. that girl is fucking hot as shit, too. Yeah, she is, she's, a, she's attractive there. But I still would not allow this, just to be clear. Because <laughs> <laughs> now he's not even fucking the doll. She's just fucking him in the ass yeah. at this point. So. Nothing about this looks no. particularly fun. No, it sure doesn't there. Lily AT&T? Sure. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, Bob went down a rabbit hole there. Like, he's... You're trying to see the whole thing there. Now he's starting to pick up the pace. It's pretty fun. Um, Type in Lily ATT and uh, and see what it pumps out This is what it pumped out. Uh, Does it have her face in any of this? No. No. Probably probably deleted it. Go to Google then. Um, Because where I saw it was uh, Pornhub. But that's not up and rocking anymore here in Texas. They said you can't jack off here Mm. without giving them your ID. Which... I don't really feel safe giving a porn yeah. site my identity. I also think uh, Texas was thinking about passing a cum tax. Really? That'd be fun if they yeah. did, you know? It's like there's an otter that hangs out in your neighborhood. Yeah. And you got to let him know anytime you're going to come. <laughs> right? And he measures, it's by volume. So you get, a, you get like this fucking uh, uh, beaker that has a bunch of hash lines on it. Yeah. And you have to, you have to ejaculate into it. Yeah, every and then, time, and then they they give you a bill once a month. Yeah, like that's, the water the propane. water meter guy comes by and yep. he's like, oh, I'm from the cum department." That's how my propane works too. Yeah. 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 Uh, did you find one, Bob? <laughs> uh, potentially, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is what came up. This is the Whoa. first video that came yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, scroll through. Because right now she's just having a convo. Yes. So this is the one I saw. It's clo- you're close. You know what I'm saying? Sort of. You can tell that the head is just a tad off, but the rest of it looks like here we go. How here's you think it would the, happen? Here's the the business. Yeah, this is her getting right into it. Well, not right into it, you know. There you go. Speaking of this, uh, so there's a group chat on Instagram with some people in it. I won't name them because it's <laughs> uh, it's it's a problem. But one of the people is Gary. Gary Faust. Yeah. Oh, and, that uh, piece of shit. Did you hear what happened to him? No, what happened now? Oh, boy, dude. Uh, I wish we could show this video. So they rent in a car, and they're doing oh, yeah, yeah, stand-up yeah, everywhere, yeah. and the stripper he was he picked up at the club crashed into a fucking light pole. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then got out and twerked on the top of the hood. We you do see that? that? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, what I, in addition to that, what I saw last, actually when I woke up this morning, was uh, just video after video of him and some other dude double teaming a girl. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's what I woke up. Can to. I guess who the other dude is? Uh, is it, it wasn't Laser. laser no, oh, okay. it that's wasn't Laser. Was, that's no. who I would have guessed. I don't. I don't. I, don't I actually don't know who the guy was. Wasn't Eli? No, no. Eli said no. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> or at least that's what he said uh, after the fact. <clears throat> oh boy. Speaking of dumb bullshit, did you see Kamala Harris? Um said that in an interview yesterday that uh, she's talking about women's empowerment. Like, you know, the women's uh, basketball, they weren't even allowed to do brackets until 2022. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? No. 
Missed it by 40 years. Yeah, you sure like did. Like, that tournament is 40 years old. And it's always been in a bracket format. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, maybe she was talking about filling out the brackets. Also false. But because I remember being at least in college when I got really into filling out brackets. And, uh, yeah, ESPN was always like, and there's the women's tournament. And I was like, I'm all right. It's, it, you've been able to fill out brackets since the tournament existed 40-some years ago. What, but what even if she meant... Um, like the major sports sites didn't carry that bracket or something like that. That's not true either. No. Because ESPN always has, like, as you said. For decades. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like how she's trying to cash in on it right before tonight's games. You know? Smart. <laughs> but not smart to say we haven't had brackets. God, well, it holy just shit. Like, it is just it's like, just a woman admitting that she even doesn't watch women's basketball forever. You yeah, know? no shit. But it, it, like, that's like just so <clears throat> typical, right, of like any liberal situation where everybody's having fun and they walk in. They're like, did you know 100 Indians had their heads cut off right here? Right here people? on the floor. And yeah, you're it's like, just like, so let's all think about that for a yeah. minute before we get back to the party. Happy um, Thanksgiving. Yeah. And the way to respond to that is, yeah, I've actually got a dried head in my fucking basement. <laughs> sure do. I go down there every now and again and pee in its face. I to, got a pocket. Because well, here's what we don't want. Arrowheads. We don't want. Uh, we don't want these savages thinking they're going to come back and take this land back, right? <laughs> so I go find and desecrate Indian burial sites all the time. <laughs> what do you think? I'm afraid of ghosts? <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's called dominating. Maybe, it is. Maybe you would know what it was if you weren't such a fucking cuck. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> though. Just got to ruin everyone's good Caitlin Clark time. You have to. Just got to. Just got and be like, and by the way, here's a quick list of injustices while we're all enjoying this women's tournament. Exactly. Uh, huh. It is weird though, Bob, because I'm I'm going home to watch it tonight. Like I'm I'm amped about it. Yeah. Yeah. I got Spencer Strider on the mound. I got. Yeah, I'm watching baseball. There's a, there's two good games tonight. The Braves. Um, well, Strider's going against um, uh, the Diamondbacks, so that'll be a good game. And then the uh, Rangers and Astros are playing tonight. Okay. If good, you're a really uh, good matchup. Uh, I was going to uh, say bet the parlay, but this episode will be gone already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know you know where we sent Lasro Lopez tonight? Mm -mm. Oliver Anthony. Oh, cool. Yeah. Somebody actually, a fan, I don't know who it was because they didn't put a, a gift note or whatever the fuck it's called, but Amazon me a Taylor Swift flag that I'm going to re-gift to Lopez. Oh, that's great. Because I don't want it, obviously. They send yeah. it to me because they think it's funny, but it's not funny. <laughs> How big is the flag? It's by big the way? as shit. Is it really? Yeah, it's not like a 14 footer or anything. Is it here? Yeah. Joel, grab the Taylor Swift flag. Let's see this fucking thing. I gotta see I gotta see this. It's a 14 foot Taylor Swift. No, no, Swift no, no, flag? no. I said it's not that big. Oh, oh, it's not. It's that right big. there on the fucking bar, Joel. Yeah. Bring it over here. And yeah. St stand behind us over here. And then hold that up. Or behind them, it doesn't matter, yeah. Well, no, That's I mean, good. give Taylor Swift her props, dude. You, you, get on the main camera, Joel. Yeah, help yourself, dude. Crime Corner's out everywhere. Starring Joel right now on its own RSS feed. Download that podcast. Look at that. Go to my single. There you go. Look at that, dude. Yeah, so you can see in every photo, rat face trailer park skank. Beautiful woman. She's God, definitely great. not beautiful. Literally um, gorgeous. gorgeous. No, she's literally not gorgeous. Like, uh, almost perfect. Um, our yeah. Helen of Troy. There sure I is. would, if... if if China kidnapped her, I would be in basic tomorrow. Yeah, Papa, there it is. Pop it over on Dance Signal. There it is. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Look at that Taylor Swift. That is a big flag. It is. Yeah, it's a full size flag. <laughs> it's a full size flag. That's nice. You that's those, going. You got to get those wrinkles out of there. Shake it off, Joel. That's going to Lopez. Nailed it. Um, yeah, it's going to Lopez. Uh, but he'll be, uh, we sent him to, to Oliver Anthony. He shot some stuff for us. And, uh, and I go, can I pay you? Uh, and he goes, you know, Oliver Anthony's here. And I was yeah. like, well, I can get you those tickets. Oh, fun update on Oliver Anthony, by the way. Um, this is the first time ever that I've gotten tickets in Eventbrite. So he really did live up to that bullshit of like, hey, I want tickets to be $40. Mm. And I'm going to do it on my own. When's the last time you got a fucking Eventbrite ticket? Um, usually only from charities, yeah. actually. That's it, man. So uh, when I bought the tickets off of drinkingbrostickets.com, I fucking hit the thing, and they were like, look, you'll get them the day before. Now, usually they do that for bigger artists because they don't want them resold or mm. anything like that. So when they came in, it was Eventbrite, and I was like, oh, okay. This is just a straight-up barcode on a piece of paper. 
Son of a bitch, man. Mm, some breaking news um, about that earthquake. Yeah, what happened? Anybody die? No, but about 10 minutes prior, Lizzo had fallen down. Oh, shit. So yeah. as far as origins go, yeah, likely scenario, I think. Likely that it was um, her. Yeah, because she's morbidly obese. She did announce, That's though, joke, when she, she said, I quit, <clears throat> when I said I, she said, I quit, that she wasn't going to quit music. She was going to quit social media. Again, you don't have to announce it. Lizzo. She's still on it, though. Is she really? Yeah. Ah, Jesus Christ. So what'd you quit? You know? What was it? What was it? I want to be a part of that trial where the, the dancers were, had to eat bananas out of the strippers' pussies with her. I would love to see that, yeah. Same here. Not the strippers eating bananas out of puss, but I would like to see the trial. One would imagine there's going to be photos, right? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. You got to think they were dumb enough to take photos. You got to think someone have was. to, have to, because that thing is is soldiering on. Otherwise, it would have been dropped by now. Um, I'm surprised she just didn't pay him off and get the fuck out of there and try to get out of this. Because even Diddy on that first allegation was just like, "Whoopsies, how much? Great, it'll be wired in today." That thing was resolved in 12 hours. Yeah, and then after that is when shit got wild. If you're Lizzo at this point. Yeah, just pay him off. What the if, fuck do you care? I don't know. If I'm a celebrity right now, I'm keeping a pretty tight circle. And I'm not seeing any shit in public. I mean, did you see The Rock was on Fox News yesterday saying he's not going to endorse anybody for president this year? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, find that uh, video, Bob. No shit. Yeah, he was like. Well, he got buried. You remember he got yeah. buried after the last election where everybody was like, fuck The Rock? Yeah. So I understand it. Shit, I, it's probably the smartest play for any celebrity at this point. Especially if that. he wants to run for office someday. Don't tie yourself to a shitty politician. Well, the other part about it is is uh, know your audience. And right now, his audience is WWE. That's mm. all Trump, brother. And they're super liberal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Just scan the crowd, and you can see all the blue hairs out there. <laughs> uh, press play on this. I didn't see this interview. You made that endorsement in 2020. Are you happy with the state of America? Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. Um, the endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then, when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position. Uh, where I have some influence, and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this, this is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. You made that oh, wow, so they didn't go into it any further. No, I mean, he's like, I don't think his politics have necessarily changed. No. Right? He, he probably still feels more like uh, an old school Democrat, which is kind of the stuff he says when he's on Rogan and shit, he's like a 90s Democrat, right? Which is a relatively reasonable thing to be. Sure. Um, <clears throat> and it's not good for... <sighs> it's not good for anybody if we all think the same, I don't think, because, you know, you just form information silos and echo chambers, and that neither one of those things are good, but um, a celebrity understanding to shut the fuck up shows growth, I think. Yes. Right. I ne I've never had a real problem with anything politically that he's had to say, aside from endorsing Biden, which he just did because he felt like that's what you do if you're in Hollywood and you're a fucking actor. Right? Yeah. And we, we brought this up with Tulsi Gabbard. If you don't allow people to grow and change, mm. then, I mean, we're all just fucking assholes. So uh, I don't mind that at all from The Rock. And yeah, you learn from it because he got fucking buried uh, on that for two years. These then, people shouldn't be in the business of endorsing anyone anyway. No, but they ask, like and, and they, get, they get a shit ton of money for it, and nobody sees it, man. Um, and uh, for whatever reason, they want to be a part of it. Uh, I don't really know why. They think they're going to get some crazy access. Take Pross, for example, uh, from the Fugees. You know, he <laughs> helped embezzle that money for Obama, mm -hmm. and I, I, he probably thought, well, shit, I'm untouchable. Yeah. Because that was 12 years ago, and then he just got sentenced uh, Bob, you can look it up. I think he got 20 or 25 years in prison um, for that embezzlement there. And uh, you think you're untouchable because you're hanging out with presidents or politicians. Then you realize, well, they don't give a fuck about me. Um, I would not be surprised, though, 
uh, if let's say Trump gets in in, in uh, 2024 here in November, if on the way out that guy personally is on Biden's uh, pardon list for for Pross, oh yeah, uh, for sure because yeah. he financed. I mean, it was twenty million dollars he gave to that fucking campaign. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Sam Bankman Fried gets a pardon as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he, all that money went to Democrats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was like two billion dollars, oh, right? Was nuts, man. It was absolutely. If fucking you include nuts. all the packs, uh huh. How much? I think if if Biden is gone, he'll probably be on this list. Pross will be on this list. Look at how many years Pross got in jail. And I think uh, uh, Hunter Biden will also be on the list, obviously. Um, yeah, maybe. You have to. You're going to pardon your own <laughs> kid, right? I would. Maybe, but you can't, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I suppose you could, right? But yeah. you, you can only pardon somebody from, I mean, you can, you can sign a general pardon for anything he's done up until that point. But I think you would have to say specifically what you're pardoning him for. Right. Which would basically be an admission of, of guilt. guilt for all the charges. Mm -hmm. But I think that's the way out of it. Uh, I really do. And if it's your own kid, you're going to do it. What did Pross get? Uh, I can't find it. P R O S S? Nope. What is P R A S. It? You're not a big uh, rap fan, Bum? No. He listens to Olivia Rodrigo and Taylor Swift. No rap at all? All right. Just I mean, a, the Fuji's a little, the little Fugees. like Kanye. Uh, so I got it here. Uh, Michael. Pross was uh, eventually convicted of all 10 counts, including conspiracy and acting as an unregistered agent of a foreign government because they were embezzling that money from Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, he should have just did what, uh, sh <coughs> wait, wait, Wyclef did, which is steal charity, charity money, money from his own people. <laughs> See, that's safe. You can get away with that. Wyclef in jail? You sure can't. He's not in jail, right? No. Still got all that money? Yeah. Goddamn nuts. right he did. And fucking Haiti's still fucked. So I'm just saying, if you're out there committing crimes, do it the smart way. Oh, shit. Uh, and ironically, his former lawyer just got fined and sentenced to probation on a contempt case. <laughs> wow. <coughs> He's the fucking lawyer of, of Frost. Jesus Christ. He was sentenced today to one year of unsupervised uh, probation and to pay a fine after he admitted to violating a court order. Uh, by sharing protected discovery material with reporters uh, in the run-up to his client's 2023 trial. No way. God damn, man. All of them. Shit. Yeah, so he's looking at 20 years. And whew, that is going to be rough, friends. But I, I bet you Biden pardons him on the way out. Interesting part will be, though, if Biden actually <clears throat> wins the election, then what do you do? I don't know. I mean, they're pulling out. Well, he'll just wait until the end of that term to to do a pardon. Four but he's more not, years. He's but he's not going to live. It, yeah. So I mean, but you can you can sign a generalized pardon and enter it into the record without publishing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. At, at, at any point. <clears throat> um, but they're going all out, and they're definitely scared of RFK for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe polling, but um, I've heard that as well recently. Bob, go to Twitter. Yeah. And uh, go to The Chief Nerd. Um, he's uh, actually just a software engineer, but pretty based takes on things. He, he posts a lot of cool clips. There's a clip uh, of with RFK explaining how there were a bunch of people outside protesting his event. They were all homeless people paid by the DNC because he went outside and talked to them. Like, yeah, we got paid by the DNC or whatever the fuck. Oh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Throw it up. The Biden campaign now has $1.1 billion at its raise. It's going to have $3 billion. It's double the biggest campaign in history. More is going to be spent on this presidential campaign. He's going to spend a lot of it trying to make sure I don't get on ballots. But when I was a kid, the Demo my father's Democratic Party and John Kennedy's Democratic Party was fighting to make sure every American had the right to vote. Yeah. And A's Democratic Party is, is trying to end our right to vote, your right to vote for me. They're trying to get me off the ballot in this state. They're spending millions and millions of dollars to do that. And then also, to, you know, to slander, to lie. I mean, I was very happy today 
to see the protesters outside. And when our staff interviewed them, they said, yeah, we were all paid to be here. That happens so much, too. These people are paid to protest. Their posters were all written by the same guy. Yep. <laughs> One of them had a poster that said, shame on you, RFK, for, uh, for stopping the COVID vaccine, which, by the way, I didn't do. He said, shame on you. And <coughs> One of our staffers said, did you take the COVID vaccine? And he said, hell no. <laughs> and they all said, yeah, we were paid to be here. We don't care. But I'm glad because I'm glad that the DNC and the White House are finally consider are, are doing something to help poor people in this country. <laughs> That's interesting. So, yeah, a lot of these uh, protesters are always paid to do this shit. Uh, you know, I talked about the BLM one when, when we were here actually looking for houses and all that shit, and I was there with my wife. They all had the same posters, all looked like they were written by the same guy. They were all from out of state, and uh, they shut down the freeway and all that other shit. Uh, this doesn't shock me. I think his numbers are polling high enough on the left. I don't think this is, this is going to have the Trump effect that they thought it was. Um, heading into this because I am seeing more and more articles against RFK mm -hmm. right now. <clears throat> um, I talked to a podcast host, I'll refrain on who it is, pretty big, uh, who recently had him on RFK. And I was like, what's the fucking story in real life? And, uh, and he goes, man, actually, he's a really fucking cool guy. And I'm like, eh, sure he is, you know, behind the scenes. He's married to Cheryl Hines. I just don't know why he's running right now in a race that he can't win. You know, um, and that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Cheryl Hines, they're uh, coming to the close here of Curb Your Enthusiasm after 12 seasons. Sunday's the last episode. That's it, dude. They're all done over there. Um, Larry David was on Morning Joe. And Bob, if you can find that clip on uh, Twitter, it would be fucking hilarious, dude. Um, so, you know, his wife. I hate Joe Scarborough, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Minka. Minka's his wife. Uh, if you didn't know... Um, he was not married to Minka, and uh, they ended up cheating on their significant others and then getting together after being on that show. So they are together now. But uh, Which clip? he's with... Uh, it's, a, it's like a bright background. Yeah, those are like old clips I'm seeing. This one probably... Yes, that's it. Um, very, very funny. So Minka wasn't there, and they fucking completely... Oh, wait, this is from February 29th. I don't know. Uh, but I, I, that looked like it was a yeah, play okay. Um, I just I just caught it. I do want to I do want to say this uh, seriously. First of all, Mika uh, it, it can't be here. She's with her daughter who's, who's celebrating a birthday. She loves you guys so much. Can I ask a question? How old is her daughter? Uh, Twenty eight. So she has to be. It's not like she's twelve and she's celebrating her <laughs> birthday, and you have to be there. Yeah. Twenty eight. She's an adult. <laughs> it almost sounds like a, uh, she didn't really want to be here. I think. Uh, not a lot. Uh, exactly. Tell her. Tell her uh, that not my daughter's it's my daughter's birthday. Uh, yeah. It was okay. What do you think you're talking to? It was okay. the best excuse I could come with, which reminds me. Oh, that's really I fucking funny, that. dude. Twenty eight. How old is your daughter? Oh, she's with her daughter for her birthday. She's 28. Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, that's she's weird. She's got as her own all. life at this point, bro. Yeah, I got to take the day off of work from Larry David being here in his last season of Curb Your Enthusiasm to be at my 28-year-old daughter's birthday. I mean, that, didn't that show shoot like super fucking early in the morning? She's got the whole goddamn day to go out with her daughter. You're not doing anything at 4 a.m. with the daughter. Unless they're at a yoga retreat or something. Yeah, it's pretty weird. That is weird, man. What age do you stop celebrating the birthdays then at that point, you know? And when it just becomes a dinner? I, I mean, a phone call. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, uh, congratulations on staying alive for another year. For another year. You're 28 years old. I don't want to hear from you again. If it was 21, sure. Maybe 30 or 40, yeah. Uh, it makes sense to me. But yeah. after that... Sorry, man. 20, 28's not anything. Yeah. My, no, I'm literally stupid. about to pick up my family to celebrate my sister's 30th birthday. So, Really? Right now? Yeah. Is 30 a big one for her? I guess. Is she married? Does she have kids? <laughs> no, but she's like in a serious relationship. Okay. Yeah. On, um, the, on the way to getting married. All right. 30's... Uh, no, I would say 40. 
So I, I would go 16. 16 is a big year. Uh, maybe 18, I guess. 15 if you're a Mohican. That's true. Because it's, it's a quinceanera at that yeah. point. Uh, 21 for sure. I don't want to hang out with tough. my fucking 40, parents. I guess. 40 is a big one. I wouldn't have wanted to hang out with my parents on my 21st birthday. And I don't no, think I was any, in college. Other, any other kid. I, yeah, I was in college. Like, I you would go out love and get to fucking... hang out with my parents on my 21st birthday. Why? Because they, they party. Oh, they rage with you? Do yeah, they do cool. drugs? Yeah, they do. All right. What kind of drugs? All of them. Send the cops. Oh, send them. Yes, yeah, send, send get the, the cops to Delco. Get yeah. the cops to Delco. Whip, whip, whip. No, they're, he, he's picking them up, what, today, right? Oh, that's right, dude. Yeah. You catch him at the airport. You know who's going to be there to help you pick them up? The fucking FBI, bitch. Yeah. Austin they're PD. Tra- they're trafficking drugs. Actually, Austin PD. I, bringing drugs to Austin would be like, uh, sand of the beach, it doesn't even cover it. No. <laughs> Everybody here's on drugs for, all the time. Uh, yeah, everyone. Everywhere we go. Yeah, well. Every single place we go. There was a guy the other day who took my order. It was so fucking high. I go, hey, dude, just be honest with me. How high are you? And mm-hmm. do I need to just go to another place right now? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I'm fine with that. Just let me know. Yeah. And he was like, no. It was a fucking Popeyes, dude. My God, my kid loves Popeyes. Loves Popeyes. It, you go to Popeyes, though, you you can burn a, a good 40 minutes out of your Oh, day. yeah, yeah. You could also uh, microwave pizza in the middle of a goddamn show if you're Joel. You sure can. Right? Can you hear that beeping back there? Joel, how's that pizza, bro? Friday afternoon. He's like a fucking vagrant that just kind of hangs out in the studio. Yeah. I was here over the weekend um, chopping off some, some seltzer. He was burning wood out back with a blowtorch. Oh, yeah. he's So he built himself a white picket fence. You know that scrap wood that we had in the back? Yeah. He built himself and painted a white picket fence out Is of it. Is that real? And now he's building other shit. He's using the torch to fucking stain the wood. Did you do that, Joel? So it's just around your trailer back there, a white paint. Only on fence. one side. <laughs> it's wonder. He's got a nice little porch out there. Yeah. I'm gonna go and take a picture of this. Yeah, thing. it's. We should do uh, uh, lifestyles of the Richard Famous on this. Or, yeah, or cribs. cribs. I don't know who was the host of Cribs. It was different all the time, right? There uh, was no host. There was no host. Yeah, they just showed up, and then the 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 celebrity, mm. which is Joel, um, would explain his crib to everybody. We should shoot a Cribs. With Joel. I think we got to be careful calling Joel a celebrity, though. He is, dude. He is, yeah. Yeah. For what it's worth. He's on a couple hit shows. Joel was telling us, like, you're kind of a celebrity if you've gotten your penis sucked on for your artwork. You know what I mean? That's a little bit of celebrity shit right there. Yeah. Have you gotten your penis sucked on for your art, your art movies and stuff like that? Yeah, he has. Anybody famous? Oh, yes. I know one. Yeah. Shit, that's a good one. God, I could go down a fucking rabbit hole with that chick one day with you. Oh, it was a woman. Yeah, it was a woman. Because I... Oh, you were thinking dude? No, I didn't, I didn't want to say. Because <laughs> who knows, man. You know, if it's... How, how famous does a dude have to be before you'll throw one at him for the story? You know what I mean? Like if Brad... Ugh. If you if you get to your house and Brad Pitt's all lubed up, you're going to fucking take a shot at him or what? Yeah. Chalamet. Yeah. Chalamet, I Ch- think you go for... Chalamet, that's not even gay. Tom Hardy's, it's going to be rough. I think Tom Hardy's probably got a caked up butt. I don't, I don't think it's clean back there. No. Oh, uh, well, he's, all, he's always doing jiu-jitzu. And he's, a, shit, he's a weirdo, and he, he also, plays weirdos in movies. I think he sucked dick for heroin back in the day. Yeah, so he did say in an interview right when he was getting famous, they were like, how crazy is your life and everything else? And he goes, well, you know, I'm in the theater, so uh, obviously I've taken another man in my mouth before. And they were like, whoa, whoa. Publicist was like, we're all done with you doing interviews forever, mm-hmm. Tom Hardy. He doesn't even allow comments on his fucking Instagram. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Pop this up. Oh, is he wearing a <laughs> diaper? What is that? So you walk into your bedroom, and yep. this guy walks out of the bathroom. Yeah. I'm afraid that this is what every... It's going to be a rough, stinky like, fuck right there. Every, every woman, every hot girl any of us have ever fucked has seen this dude standing at the end of the bed. That's us. That's all of us right there. <laughs> Thinking we were like, yeah, we look fucking good today. Like, no, you look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> So God bless. God bless all you whores out there that have let us fucking cream pie you and shit. Yeah, but is it is it the whores at that point, or do they look? Do they have conversations about us where they're like, "Yeah, these pieces of shit think they're fucking awesome," and it's, I, this is a miserable. Experience. I don't think women are attracted to things the same way that dudes are. It's like there, there's other stuff going. On. It's not. Yeah. It's not all physical. Well, you can provide and everything yeah. else. What's that pick right there? That's a fun one. Right. There is some wiener pics of him. I'm trying to find <coughs> wow. it. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh, uh, from Bronson. Bronson. Bronson, dude, great movie. Yeah. 
I remember him with his cock out in Bronson. Yeah, that was a big, big Bronson fan. Now you walk in on this guy, you're the one getting lubed up. Do you yeah. remember that scene? Oh, you better lube yourself up if you see that. Yeah, because yeah. well, he's not even going to lube you. No, he's not taking the time. He's like, you got 12 seconds, bitch. Yep. Do you remember that scene? He greased himself up so they couldn't get a hold of him, dude, and beat the fuck out of everybody. Uh, but buck naked is the way to go, dude. That's dominance right there. Uh, and, and look at how much confidence he has to have a fucking wiener out there in that kind of environment. Because you're not your best in that at all. Hood up. Yeah, it's because it, it's cold. It, they're shooting in a fucking prison. He's barefoot, too, on top of it, because that's going to make your penis shrink as well. That, that cold, barefoot on a cement floor like that. You're going to shrink up pretty bad. Um, but uh, the other one you had of him in the, the underwear... You can tell he's got a decent hog on him right there. You know, good for Tom Hardy. But yeah, after he said, I'm going to take another, I've taken another man in my mouth, they were like, well, we're all done with you doing interviews forever. Just be a great actor, friend. I don't mind it. You know, that's the dominance of it. Yeah. I just want to know who the other dude was. Uh, maybe it was Zeus. <laughs> Elmero Nessio. He's got a live show on uh, April 18th at the Alamo Dome. Is he really? Yeah. Shit. 90 minute show at the Alamo Dome. God Pre party damn. starts at 7 p.m. So go check out Zeus's. Uh, when is it? 18th of April. 18th it's like three of weeks April. from now. Oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> um, I went with Zeus to the Alamo Dome. Uh, we had a suite there for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, yeah. It rocks. Yeah. Is he, so is he the headliner? Yes. God damn. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a big fucking place, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's huge inside. I mean, it, I think the way they cut it off, it holds like 60,000 people. It will, yeah, but we went to that boxing match there, and they kind of cut it in half, and there was only about 15,000 right. people there, I think. Well, Which is still, that's pretty bad. Yeah, it wasn't right? bad, yeah. yeah. But, well, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good spot. Um, what's the name? What's that hotel we always stay at right there? Ah, uh, shit. It's, don't, like, on the same property. Anybody. Yeah, I shouldn't. Anybody. There's a hotel that's, like, right on the same property. Because you and I go, and you can walk over there, mm -hmm. and that's, <clears throat> man, every time I hit you up when I've got to go there with something for my kid, I'm like, hey, give me that hotel again. Uh, I have to look into my hotels.com account to find it because I can never remember what it is. I or, can't or I have it's got to a weird blow, name. Or I have to blow up a map and look at it. Um, but yeah, you can figure it out yourself, you fucking losers. And you get a two bedroom uh, suite for nothing, there for dude. like 100 bucks. Yeah, it was bro. nothing. It's great. Shit, I love that place. We got wrecked in one of those uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, the boys, the Canadians, one time. That was pretty fun. Oh, yeah. I remember parts. I, I browned out that night. Yeah, that was a bad one. Yeah, that was was that that was the boxing match, wasn't it? It was the boxing yeah. match, and they they brought out hard bottles of liquor in that Tesla. Oh yeah, we were just drinking. We actually, people were getting out of the car and passing a big bottle of pink, yeah, the vodka, pink Whitney, yep. pink Whitney vodka to people as we were driving Our store. to the next location. Yeah, it was a shit show that night. Well, with that much traffic, all <clears> you can do is get out and kind of swap yeah. bottles with people, and and that's it. But. Yeah, that's what went down that night. Uh, now it's time for the Drinking Bro of the Week here. You can submit at drinkingbros.com. Pull it up, Bob. Pull up drinkingbros.com. We've got the bro box on there. Uh, this month is available. How long do people have? Um, to get this current one? Yes. I don't know. Days, maybe. Okay. I don't remember when the cutoff is, but it's the IRS's gay shirt that you saw on... The range. Yeah, thing rocks. The thing that we did, and then that double wall container right oh, there. Oh, boom. That has the black cap on top that you can put a 12 ouncer in and screw it on and hold it in place, or you can use the regular lid. Big fan. <laughs> Big fan. So while you're over there, you can peruse uh, the entire website. We got all the merch. We're all stocked up over there, but also this is where you submit for Drinking Bro of the Week. Uh, just click the link, and then it'll get emailed to us live on air here, and then we'll read them aloud. Uh, let's see. This one was submitted by Daniel Ash from Michigan. Four years, he's been a listener of Drinking Bros podcast, and he's nominating Scooter Bright, who is living, by the way. Thank God. Uh, that's nice that he's living. Uh, Scooter and I were neighbors before COVID uh, and during COVID. We became friends and like to sample tequila and whiskey together at bonfires. I was going through mental issues, and he has helped me a lot. Nobody scoots like Scooter scoots. I don't know Scooter, right, but I imagine he does. Cheers to you. I'll read one more here. Uh, this one just came in live right now. Drinking Bros submission from Matt Howell from Ohio. 
Been listening for three years. Uh, wants to nominate Ginger Howell, who is living, which is nice. So Ginger's still alive. Uh, Want to nominate my wife of 20 years, Ginger, for putting up with my shit for that long. She is truly my day one homie. Go Bucks. All right, it's an Ohio State fan. Go Bucks, too. Let's do it. Uh, spring game's coming up. Shit, next weekend? Mm. Live on Fox. God damn, we're already here at college football spring games. Uh, and then Michigan, University of Michigan signed on, so they're going to be live on Fox the week after. Uh, that's where we're at now. Football is that big where we're starting to televise spring games <laughs> live on air on the big networks. Wow, dude. Uh, crazy. Crazy. We'll have an uh, announcement here uh, about a couple of these colleges in the near future. Uh, got to place the, the can order, actually, uh, this afternoon. So we're looking forward to that. Thanks for tuning in, kids. Go to iTunes, rate the show a five-star, and leave a quick review. Also, head on over to Spotify. It's just a five-star, and you can walk away. For Danthony and Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Podcast. Good night, everyone.